What's good, Steeler Nation? Back again, man. Last time y'all seen me, it was one hell of a video, man. I was protecting my quarterback, our quarterback, Steeler Nation's quarterback. I was protecting our quarterback, man, because slander, slander had to stop. Make sure y'all tune into that video. Go watch that rant. I was literally screaming the whole video. I ain't sit down that one time. Big man working on his deep ball, right? This man just threw it 10 yards to Nanti Harris. He threw it 10 yards. He threw it 10 yards, y'all. He threw it 10 yards. But, hey, today we talking about a man that I am very impressed by. A young man that went undrafted. Today we talking about, to me, who I think is going to be the future of the Steelers cornerback situation. Shakur Brown. Now, this man went undrafted because apparently when they, with the Zoom calls, uh, they said like, they said it was like problems going on. Now, they didn't explain anything. So like, do they mean like problems with like the Zoom Wi-Fi? Like, was it Zoom? Like, was Zoom messing up or they had problems with him? You know what I'm saying? And let me fix this camera real quick and put it over But um, were they having problems with the Wi-Fi or him? That's that's why he fell. Because Shakur Brown's a third-round talent. But he went undrafted. Like, that's kind of crazy. All over a Zoom call, he goes undrafted? I, so, like, that's why I'm confused. Like, was it a Wi-Fi problem where they couldn't talk to him? Or was it, like, a problem with him? They never explained it. They just said it was Zoom problems. I don't know. If that meant his personality, his character, or what. But the Steelers go out and get him. Um, and shit, we needed help in the cornerback situation. So we go out and get him. He's projected to be third. We get him undrafted. Um, This kid, man, I've been watching his highlights for the last two days just to see. Because I've been going down our whole cornerback list. like, Because you know, that that's kind of our weakest position right now. Like We need help at that position. But I was looking at this kid, Shakur Brown, and I was thinking he could be the perfect replacement for Mike Hilton. He could be our next Mike Hilton because they play similar. Like the the tape that I was looking at, which I'm going to show soon, he this this kid can be a beast, man. Like they both love playing the slot. They both love blitzing the quarterback. They both love tackling the running back when they need to. They both love getting them tackles for loss. They both love giving the tip picks. Um he seems to always be in the right situation to get an interception. This kid, this kid can really step in and be the next great Steelers cornerback. Um, I'm going to show you all the tape right here. Like, this kid is just out here picking balls off. He's out here sacking the quarterback. Like, he's pressuring everything. Um, this guy could definitely be the future. Honestly, I'm not mad at it because, boy, do we need help. We got Joe Hayden, who's getting up there in age, which... I say a lot because that's just what we worried about. Joe Hayden's up there in age. We lost Steven Nelson. And speaking of Steven Nelson, I will not be surprised. He hasn't been picked, he hasn't been picked up yet. I will not be surprised if the Steelers go out, reach out to Steven Nelson, and actually bring him back. I won't be surprised at all if that happens. Um, talking about getting Richard Sherman, I don't think that will happen. You know, uh, Malik Hooker, the safety for the um the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, he's supposed to be, hopefully, he's supposed to be coming to Pittsburgh because he's easily better than fucking Terrell Edmonds. So, that would, but knowing the Steelers, we probably keep Terrell Edmonds starting. We'll probably just rotate those guys. And we also drafted the safety, Trey Norwood. Um, but, yeah, with this, we ain't talking about safeties. I'll just mention them because they're in the secondary. But, yeah, back to my boy. My boy, Shakur Brown. Dude, I honestly think he can come in and help the cornerback situation right away. I think him and Cam Sutton will be a crazy duo for years to come. Now, Cam Sutton is already 26. So I, I say Cam Sutton will probably be, be with us for another maybe three, four, or five years. Not that long. But Shakur Brown, this is a young guy. He's probably hungry because he went undrafted. He looks like a dog. He goes out there and plays like a dog. Like... It's not too much bad I can say about this guy, you know? Like, and it surprises me that he was projected to be a third-round talent and went undrafted. Like, that's that's surprising over a Zoom call when there's other ways 
that teams could have met with this guy and all that. But hey, whether he was supposed to be a third round talent or what, he went undrafted. Steelers got him. To me, I think we got a gem. To me, I think he's going to step up right away because the cornerback situation, these guys are going to be fighting. James Pierre, Shakur Brown, um, Cam Sutton, Joe Hayden. His spot is kind of solidified because he's a veteran. But yeah, these guys are going to be out there fighting, as they should. They should be out there fighting for their spot. Shakur Brown, man. I just think that this guy is a beast. And the thing about him is, we know how Mike Hillen wasn't like... Mike Hillen was a dog when it came to blitzing and when it came to getting to the quarterback, getting to the running back. The difference with him is he's a better coverage guy than Mike Hillen. He plays way better coverage than Mike Hillen. So this guy could easily come in and do what Mike Hillen did and more. Like his coverage is, is crazy. Because I was, I was just going to come in here and make this video and compare him to Mike Hillen. But to me... With the talent I'm seeing, he can definitely pass Mike Hilton in like the next two, three years, depending on what he does, depending on the opportunity that we give him. Because we have to give him the opportunity for him to show us what he can do. But this guy's good in coverage. He's good blitzing. Like, this guy, I, I, I like him, man. Like, I really do like this guy. There's something about him that that is telling me, like, this is it right here. Like, this is a hidden gem, an undrafted hidden gem. And mind you, Mike Hillen went undrafted too. So, we don't really miss with the... Because we, we're not good at drafting cornerbacks at all. Like, that's one thing that we're not doing. If you guys remember... Uh, I don't even want to say his name on here. Cause, Jesus, that nigga was terrible. You guys remember Artie Burns. Uh, I don't know. I and did, did we draft Artie Burns, Artie Burns in the first round? If we draft Artie Burns in the first round, that's one of the worst picks ever of all time for any team because that nigga sucked. But Shakur Brown, man, yeah, he's good in coverage, good with blitzing the uh, quarterback, good with getting to the run, good with picking off the ball. This kid could definitely be special. He's going to have a chip on his shoulder. He went undrafted. Um, I'm seeing pictures of him in the OTAs and all that. Looking pretty good out there. I've seen a couple clips. Um, for the most part, I just wanted to come on here and make a video saying that, in my opinion, I think we have an absolute hidden gem in Shakur Brown. Come back to this video when uh, he out there grabbing two, three picks a game going crazy. You know what I'm saying? But best believe it will take time because he's going to have to earn his position because he wasn't drafted, so he will have to earn it. Hopefully, and the difference is this year, we have a preseason this year. And... A lot of teams are going to see what these young pieces can do, what these young undrafted talents can do with a preseason. Because last year we didn't have one. So we didn't really get to see all the guys fighting for a spot and all that. We didn't have that last year. This year, we got a preseason. He could show out there. A lot of our talents could show out there, actually. This man, Shakur Brown, hopefully he comes in here in Pittsburgh. He tears it apart, you know, because we need a corner. We need a corner bad. Um... I honestly thought we were going to get one in free agency. And nobody's seen the Steven Nelson stuff coming. Like, all that came out of nowhere. That all happened within, like, two to three days, it felt like. Like, Steven Nelson just came out and said, I don't want to be here no more, basically. And I don't know if it was a miscommunication with the Steelers or what, but we let him go. We just released him. They even trade him. I feel like we could have got some leverage with a trade. But, like I said, I won't be surprised if we bring Steven Nelson back. Nobody has picked him up yet. Won't be surprised if we make that call. We work everything out, bring Steven Nelson back. But for the most part, Shakur Brown, glad you're here. Welcome to Pittsburgh. You undrafted. You're going to have to prove your point because it get it get real gritty over there in the AFC North. And we're going to need, we gonna need talent, especially with, with the receivers they building up. You know, with the Ravens getting Sammy Watkins, um, the Bengals, the Bengals getting Jamar Chase. You know, uh, the Browns with Odell and Jarvis and all them other, all them other guys. We're going to need some cornerbacks going crazy, getting some sacks, getting some picks. But Shakur Brown, I think he's going to be the next great Steelers cornerback. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Y'all keep like, sharing, and subscribing, man. We're going to come back with some more videos. I got a video dropping for y'all tomorrow as well. Y'all stay tuned. Let's eat. We out, bruh. Y'all might be mad at me. Uh, I forgot to say how y'all done, how y'all done it, man. 
Hope everybody having a great weekend. I, you can see my balloons back there. I turned 20 on June 2nd a couple of days ago. But hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing it, man? You know what I mean? I ain't going to forget again.